how is it that how we live will better reveal to us the character and the vision of God? This is the end, so this is what you've listened for. When we live a godly life, we better understand God himself. And what do I really want in life anyway? And I go back to this. I don't want to envy the evildoers. I don't want what the wicked people have. I'm not after the things, the things, the things, the things. I want wisdom. I want wisdom in the sense of seeing the world the way God does, valuing people the way God does, valuing life the way God does. If I could have the eyes of God and the heart of God, then I've got everything I want. Those who are poor and afflicted have the Lord on their side pleading their cause. So the question for me is not, do I go rob the poor? Do I crush the afflicted? The question for me is, do I join the Lord in standing up for the poor and for the afflicted? Do I seek to come to their aid? Do I seek to come to their rescue? Will my eye be out today for those who need help? And then when I see them, may my resources and my, my thoughts be there and my energies be there to help them. I mean, if God is on the side of the poor and afflicted, heaven forbid, literally, I not be. Let love kindness, let truth, faithfulness be part of everything you do each and every day. And it says, write them on the tablet, uh, not an iPad, uh, write them on, uh, it was a writing surface at the time, write them on the tablet of your heart. God's treating you like children. What child is there that his father doesn't discipline? If you're left without discipline, the writer says, and all you've participated in, you're, you're not really even a legitimate child. So I'm going to walk today and this weekend recognizing I'm focusing on the Lord. I'm going to get in shape for Jesus. I'm going to let his discipline mold my character.